Hey guys, so today what I wanted to share with you was everything I packed inside my beautiful leopard dream convertible and I am packing for two kiddos. I have an 18 month old and a five year old. And what we did, we actually went and saw Santa. I'll put a little picture here of my daughter with Santa and, and then my son. Um, he wasn't that sure about him. So he's 18 months old. And it was like uh, where you eat and Santa came around to the table, which I think was so much better doing versus just taking a picture and going. Because I think that was so much easier for my daughter too, who is five. Sometimes she waiting a long line, not the best for her. So this was really great. And look at like Santa, like looked legit. I mean, maybe, maybe it was the real dude. Came all the way from the North Pole to see us. But so this would be a great video if you're going out for longer in the day or if you're going to, you know, visit maybe your parents or even out to a restaurant. This I think would be a great packing video for you. All right, guys, let's get started. You guys, I don't think the Dream Convertible always gets the credit she deserves where you can wear it over your shoulder like I had it, or on your wrist, on your back, like this with the backpack straps. And also it goes over your suitcase with that trolley sleeve. Like, it is so nice how many different ways you can wear this. And I am 5'9", just for height reference. But I think once you know how to pack her, she is a beautiful bag. So let's get into the backing video. Okay, first we have the boss bow. I added it to the bag, as well as the little tassel that comes with the bag. The tassel comes with, but I added the boss bow. And so on the side here, both of these pockets are insulated, which I think is amazing when bags have insulated bottle pockets so you can keep your drinks nice and cold. And what I wanted to show you is it's a different liner than like if you had the Boss backpack. It doesn't have like that foil, like the Boss bag. I'm sure that's the wrong word for it. But I just want to show you that it doesn't have the same insulated pocket. And there is the Merlot charm pod in that bottom. I love that. There are those handles and you can have those snap together or not, whichever is your preference. And there's so many pockets on this bag. So in this front pocket, I had it kind of like toys that I just wanted to grab easily for my son. I have the little pop right here. wanted you to hear that cuteness he's really into the pops like the little things there and then I also have this one for him just something to keep his hands busy and then these cute little ritzy rings so that's everything I had there but there's also those two additional pockets there in the front and then there's also this pocket and so in here, I had just my wallet, but I like to clip it onto there so it's easily being able to grab it. You can also keep your keys on there if you have your, whichever is your preference. But then also each of the dream bags have a cute little saying on the back. I wanted to show you guys that is how big that pocket is. So you can fit quite a bit inside there. On the back here, you do have that shoulder strap or across the body if you wanted to, and these very cushy backpack straps, as well as this pocket in the back where you could keep your change pad if you wanted to. And also these straps are removable, which I love that Itsy Ritsy did that. So if you didn't want to have always the backpack strap on, you can tuck them in the back here. I just want to show you on one side for time sake so you don't have to walk, be bored but just look how easily that is you can unsnap it or clip it back in I love when things are multi-purpose more bang for your buck and right there in the zippered pocket on the bottom of the bag I wanted to show you that's where you put it over your suitcase if you wanted to use that trolley sleeve and again this bag is super comfortable I actually did a packing video when I was super pregnant with my son so I had my little hat yes I'm a Packers fan 
Go Pack Go. My husband converted me from a Bears fan. But look how much I have inside the bag. I told you guys I'm an overpacker. But like, I love this. How, how many pockets plus how much I was able to fit in here. So I had a little silicone bib. I'm trying to get better at bringing those to restaurants. And so that was in that mesh pocket there in the front. It goes down pretty far. So I wanted to show you guys that. I also had a large packing cube. Yes, with toilet cheese for my son. He is 18 months old, so I get quite a few size four diapers, a sleeper, an outfit, bib, toys, and those lovely scented poop bags. That was all inside there. And then I decided to bring this to the restaurant and I am so glad I did. This little stacking tower from Itsy Ritsy. My son loves it and he loves to tea, tea the on that little dinosaur thing. So I love that of how it's not like your traditional tower that you have that they can actually chew on it. And here's my silly son playing with them. But it worked great at the restaurant. So I just thought outside the box, why not bring it? Because he loves it at home. And we totally used it while we were waiting for Santa to come to our table. And we also have this packed for like your hand sanitizer. It was a hair tie and a hair clip. And then the smallest packing cube. I wanted to show you guys there. I had it on the other side of the pocket. Just so a size so you can see that it fit really well inside that pocket. And that was just filled with snacks. And then in this back pocket, so there you can see there's more pockets inside the bag that I didn't utilize, but I also always love having options. I had this back pocket just kind of grab stuff for my kiddos, like a little book for my son. Inside the snack bag, I had little tiny books for my daughter, and she totally used this. Everything in this thing that I had packed, my kiddos actually used, which yay for that. So this is kind of like an activity bag. I had little stencils in there for my kiddos, a drawing pad inside there. These snack bags, I had markers and crayons, more stencils, just something easily so I could hand it to my daughter and she can play with it. So look, not just snack bags. Those things are great for so many different things. Had these for my kiddos. I actually just put new ones in there because they use the ones at the restaurant. And then this snack bag. And this is just for backup snacks. And thanks, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.